these offers I'm not really going to go into. Um, so these uh, items here are quite important, as it tells you what the CP, uh, what the what hardware the, C, the motherboard can take. So you've got AMD socket AM3 Plus for FX, Phenom, Avalon, Sempron, hundred series processors. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, RAM. They can take four DIMM dual channel. It can take a max of thirty two gigabytes DDR three. And here's the RAM speeds. Now it's important to take into consideration these RAM speeds when buying RAM, as if you bought a wrong speed, the RAM wouldn't perform adequately or would not perform at all. Um, we'll go more into RAM speeds later in the RAM video. Um, you've got it tells you the expansion slots, two PCI slots. Um, and one PCI Express um, and that's pretty much or any of all of the interesting bits um, so you would look at these um, statistics for the motherboard and um, the specs of what this motherboard can take um, so the AM3 plus um, for FX processors are the newest, uh, newer AMD gaming processors. Uh, well, remember, processors being the brain of the computer, responsible for a lot of the performance. So you would want the newest and most decent um, AMD processor for this. Now, you can't fit an Intel CPU into this motherboard because the socket is not for Intel processors. When you would know this by looking at all of the uh, CPU recommendations, nowhere in there does it mention uh, Intel processors. It only AMD because of the way the socket is designed. This socket here. Um, so this board is around about 50 from Amazon. It's a fantastic buy and really good for future proof, uh, future, future proofing your, your uh, new build. Uh, future proof is basically making sure that you have a good uh, future time frame uh, in which you could still ch uh, put place new components onto the motherboard. Um, so you wouldn't want to buy a motherboard that next year when something new comes out, new processor, new graphics card, you wouldn't want your motherboard not to support that, so it's always, it's always wise doing your research on um, what's new and what current motherboards can do. Um, so that's why I bought this motherboard, it's because it can take the new FX um, processors, which are the gaming grade. standard. You wouldn't need to really 
really take these into consideration. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that little session. In the next video, we're going to be adding um, a CPU to this and see and uh, going over what the considerations of CPUs are, what to buy in conjunction with what I've purchased here. So, until next time, guys, have a safe journey home, and I'll see you again next week.